Life in the Marine Corps can be very lonely at times. It can be a little depressing. It can be hard, just like anything else in life, but more so in the military. And I think because of that, a lot of people tend to turn to vices like smoking, drinking, chewing tobacco. All these things are not conducive to good health or just good mental health in general. And it's kind of ironic there because you're smoking and you're chewing, which is just making you more miserable, driving a bigger hole in your pocket. I had someone message me and they said, how do I resist peer pressure in the Marine Corps from chewing, drinking, and smoking? And I told him, I said, you just have to make decisions for yourself. I know how easy it is to jump on the bandwagon and go with what your friends are doing because I've been there. And it's totally okay if you do that at times because like I said, we're all young, we're all gonna do stupid things, but it's learning from those mistakes. Let me just say that you don't have to go along with the crowd to fit in. And if you think you do, just find better friends. And I'm telling you, there are Marines out there that don't smoke, that don't drink, that don't chew, and they'd be happy to be friends with you. I think once you get past the initial couple months out of boot camp and you're off that boot high where you just think you're on top of the world, you don't need any of that stuff. You really don't. And you're gonna come to find that, yes, you're making money, but you're losing it really quickly on alcohol and cigarettes. And also, alcohol is just a slippery slope. Like, I have so many good friends that have just turned into alcoholics, and it really is a problem. Uh, the Marine Corps is doing a lot to address that, but I think more can be done on the part of the friends and the Marines and the family around them to keep them from being that way. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, but Marines, they chew, they smoke, they drink. That's just how we are. And a lot of people use the old phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They use that for everything in the Marine Corps, and I hate that phrase because we're constantly saying, improve, improve, improve on yourself. But when it comes to things we're stubborn about, we're like, oh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It doesn't make any sense at all. You always want to improve yourself. So if you're drinking, stop. If you're spending all this money on cigarettes, weaned off of them. And I think that's a really important thing to drive home. We did the math on one of my buddies that has been in the Marine Corps for about four years. He actually just got out. Uh, and we looked into how much money he spent on cigarettes and alcohol. And I think the total came out to just over $8,000. $8,000. $8,000 is enough to buy a car, to live very comfortably in an apartment for what, six, seven, eight months, depending on where you're living. I mean, $8,000 is so much money that you have drank away and smoked away. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So my best advice is this. If all your friends think it's really cool to be drinking and smoking right now, go against the grain and just quit now. Or if you're in the Marine Corps currently, take a look at your finances and be like, how much money am I spending on all this stuff? I think you're gonna to come to find that it's way too much. If you're trying to smoke, drink, and chew, and you're okay with it, and you're doing it in moderation, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But maybe you can take a step back and kind of evaluate, hmm, am I spending too much money here? Is this good for my health? And just take a step back and look at it from a different perspective.